This morning, an investigation is underway into how a young mother from Illinois died while parasailing on Memorial Day in the Florida Keys. A new Miami Herald report indicates the boat's captain cut the line tethering 33-year-old Sapraja Alaparthi, her son and nephew, when a strong gust of wind caught the parasail, impeding the safe operation of the vessel. Once the line was cut, Alaparthi and the boys plunged into the water and were dragged across the surface before they hit the old seven mile bridge in Pigeon Key. All of a sudden the wind got really bad. I was watching the storm on the radar, just about to leave myself right before we saw the parasail because you know the, <clears throat> we couldn't leave the parasail with that situation. On a charter boat nearby, Captain John Callion watched the horrifying scene unfold and rushed to help. I thought the parachute hit the bridge and the people were just going to be dangling when I got there, but they actually, it was a much worse situation. With the help of two of his passengers, they freed all three from the parasail line and rushed them to a nearby restaurant in Marathon that was being used as a staging area. Alaparthi's nephew was taken to a Miami hospital in critical condition. Her son suffered minor injuries. They went from literally having probably the most fun in their life to the best experience of their life to the worst experience of their life. ABC News has reached out to the company Lighthouse Parasail, who boasts a spotless safety record on their website, but have not heard back. An investigation by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and the U.S. Coast Guard is ongoing. A report did state that weather was a factor. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.